Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I'm Jessica from Jessica Anywhere and I upload travel and lifestyle videos weekly on Wednesdays. So I wanted to start off today's video by just kind of addressing where I've been for these past couple of months. At the end of April, I got really overwhelmed between everything happening with the pandemic and and the earthquake that happened here in Utah and I just decided I needed to take a break from everything for a little bit. Um, I wasn't really planning on taking a break initially, it just kind of happened and then the break ended up going a lot longer than I planned. So with today being the start of a new quarter, I figure why not bring my channel back today to a relaunch of sorts. Um, I'm still gonna keep the same channel and everything like that. I just want to get back into uploading videos for you guys. I'm very excited about all of the travel content I have brainstormed and some of the video ideas I have come up with. We will finally be finishing our Painted Desert road trip from last year as well as showing you guys a couple of the smaller trips that we've been on this year, I guess you could call them. So I can't wait to see what you guys think of that. Down in the comments below, let me know what you guys want to see just around Utah, especially with everything going on, just some of the changes that places are making. So if you're curious about a place, let me know. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into today's unboxing. So for those of you that don't know, FabFitFun is a seasonal box, meaning it comes once a quarter, and they like to theme the box around the season. So you get a variety of lifestyle, fashion, home goods, fitness, just a wide variety of items, which I absolutely love. And it's for a really great value too. So with the boxes, you can pay either seasonally for them or quarterly or you can pay for the entire year at once. So if you pay for it seasonally it's $49.99 or $49.95 I don't remember exactly and then for the entire year it is $179.99 so you do save just a little bit of money by paying for the entire year in advance and then you are also what they call a annual member as well so you do get a few more customization options as well as you get access to customize your box and to the sales that they do a little bit earlier as well. So one of the big questions that I always had when I saw the advertisements for FabFitFun and the various YouTube videos and different things like that is just, is FabFitFun worth it? It's a little bit more of a pricier subscription box and so I always wondered, is the stuff that you get actually good quality? Is it worth what they say it is, where they claim that every box has over $200 in value. For the first option in the summer box, we've got the Draper James Straw Bag with the Floral Scarf, the L Space Tie Dye Towel, the Pottery Barn Mason Ceramic Diffuser in Solstice, the Yumi Kim Wireless Charging Pad, the Do Not Age with Dr. Brad Triple Peptide Eye Cream, and lastly, the Lashes MD Eyelash Conditioner. With FabFitFun, they give you the different options you can choose from, but then you can also add on additional items for anywhere from seven to $15, depending on the item. And I actually did that with a couple of the different customization categories. I had a very hard time choosing this season. So I'll show you guys first what I got in the box and then the other item as well. So the item that they put in my box was the L Space Beach Towel. So I am very excited about this. I love the frills on the end. I absolutely love the tie-dye and everything like that. And it's just a super cute, fun towel for summer. So can't wait to get out and use this. Now the other item that I added on with the first customization is the Lashes MD Eyelash Conditioner. So I've always been curious about trying something like 
this because I've always wanted my lashes to be a little bit fuller and longer but I haven't wanted to go to the length of getting eyelash extensions because I know those can be damaging for your eyelashes so I figure I would give something like this a try so I have had my box for a little while I've been using some of the items but not everything so I will let you guys know how I like this item on my Instagram so if you guys aren't following there make sure you do so it's just at Jessica dot anywhere and I'll leave my name right up on the screen here as well with the second customization option they gave us quite a few choices here so we've got the Michael Kors Bedford travel passport wallet the business and pleasure co cooler bag the hydropeptide moisture reset facial oil the Isaac Mizrahi blue and white kimono and the R & Co Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. I talked about this a little bit in my unboxing that I did last season, but they have started to do some FabFitFun favorites, I think is what they've called them, in the boxes. So they'll do some new items for you, and then they're also doing a lot of the favorite items as repeats as well. And I've, I remember correctly, the R & Co Shampoo and Conditioner was loved by a lot of people. However, some people didn't love it quite so much. So I decided not to get that, especially since I found a shampoo and conditioner I absolutely love that I'll be sharing with you guys in my July favorites video. Um, so what I got. <laughs> First thing that I got in this category, because again, I had a hard time choosing, I know, shocker, was the Business and Pleasure Co. Cooler Bag. So I am very excited to use this this summer in conjunction with the little picnic set that we got in our spring 2019 box. So I love that I can put everything as far as like our sandwiches, drinks, everything like that in here. And then I also have the picnic set to take along with us. So I can't wait to get out and use this one as well. Now the other item, as you guys can see, I am wearing, it was the Isaac Mizrahi Blue and White Kimono. So if you know me personally, you know that I absolutely love kimonos, shawls, cardigans, whatever you want to call them, I love them. So I couldn't resist not getting this one when I saw it, especially with how fun it is for the summertime and I just love how like it's got some beachy vibes to it. So it's perfect to wear really any time of year in my opinion, whether you're going on beach vacation in the winter or just during the summer, whatever it may be. So I've been wearing this for about a month now since I got my box. I've worn it quite a few times and absolutely love it. I can't get enough of it. With option number three, they gave us seven items to choose from, surprisingly enough. And this was just largely due to the fact that one of the products was only available in the US. So since FabFitFun is also available in Canada and the UK as well, they wanted to provide some options for those members. So the first option is the Giving Key Mini Key Necklace. The option for the US only was the Kula Mineral Face Organic Matte Finish Sunscreen Lotion. And for Canada only, it was the Kula Mineral Face Matte Finisher Cucumber Sunscreen Lotion. So a couple of Kula products there, which I absolutely love. Um, and then they also had the option of the Tom's Sydney Sunglasses, the Black Peel Off Mask and Hydrogel Eye Mask with Hyaluronic Acid Set, the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream, and lastly, the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler. So there were a few different items in this category that drew my eye. Um, the Kate Somerville definitely did, because I know that's a fan favorite, as well as the Dry Bar. I absolutely love the Dry Bar. I got that in, I want to say my summer 2019 box. I got that somewhat recently and still have a pretty full bottle. So rather than getting myself another one, I figure I would go with the Giving Key Necklace. So when I saw this on their spoilers, I knew I had to have it. I wanted this so bad. I love little dainty necklaces like this and I love that it says believe on the necklace. It's, it's just super cute as well as it has a really great message on it as well. Okay so for customizations four and five those were only for the annual or for the select members so customizations one through three is for all members to choose from. So with customization number four we've got the Ter Mare I think is how you say it aloe and tea tree toner, the Zoe Ayla ice roller, or the Silk Satin Pillow Sleeve. So the Silk Satin Pillow Sleeve caught my eye when I first saw it because I want to try out a silk pillowcase. I've heard it's really good for your skin as well as for your hair. However, this is a 
satin pillowcase more than a silk pillowcase so it does not have a lot of the same effects from what I was reading. So I opted to go with the Terre Mare Aloe and Tea Tree Toner. So I am trying to be a lot better about taking care of my skin and establishing a better skincare routine that's not just washing and moisturizing my face because I know there are a lot of other benefits that I can get from some skincare products. I've heard a lot of really good things about Tea Tree. It is anti-inflammatory for for your skin so it helps calm down like the redness and swelling and everything and then I've also read that it can help prevent acne scars as well so I figure I would give this product a try. So for the fifth customization option we had four choices. We could choose between the Isaac Mizrahi Loves Exo Sienna Vase, the Lifestyle Co Beach Mist, the Amiga Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray, or the Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. So when I first saw this category, I wasn't super crazy about a lot of the products. Um, I'm not crazy about facial mists. I've bought them before and haven't really used them. And then I've got a few other hair products that I enjoy using, so I didn't want to get the Amika product. Um, but then looking at both the face and the hyaluronic acid hydrating serum, I had a hard time choosing. So like I said with the fourth category, I want to be better about taking care of my skin. So I decided to go with the Grace and Stella product. I figured I would give this a try since hyaluronic acid is great for helping your skin retain moisture and helping it stay smoother and plumper, which I, while my skin is young, I definitely want to help keep it that way. I also decided why not go ahead and get the vase as well. So I've already taken this out of the box and everything, but for $7 I figure why not get this considering ceramic vases are usually a lot pricier than that. So I love the dip glaze that's over the top of this where it's just in this super cute elegant pink color and then you've got the ceramic face on the, the just, I don't know what you would call it, the plain ceramic face on the bottom so I love the contrast and everything like that. So like I addressed in my last video for the FabFitFun unboxing, they are changing up the way they do the last few items. So it used to be that they would have three to four items that just everybody would get. Last season they did it to where, I wanna say they had two different categories and they chose the best item for you. Sorry, if you can hear my cats running around, they all of a sudden have a bunch of energy. Um, and then this season they decided to do, one, two, three, seven different items just that everybody could potentially get and they would pick three of those items based off of your purchasing history with them, a few other things, not really sure. But just basically what they think you would like best, however they determine that, not sure. So you could have gotten the Riddle Oil Original Roll-On, the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil, the Cali Cosmetics Foot Cream with Menthol in Turaco, the Makeup Drop Hybrid Makeup Applicator, Murad Essential C Cleanser, the Spongel Coconut Verbena Hand Cream, and the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask Six Pack. So when I first opened my box, I opened the magazine and I jumped straight to this to kind of see what other items I could have potentially gotten, just kind of how they chose to do the FabFitFun picks this season. And when I saw the Wander Beauty eye masks, I first, my first thought was, of course, there's something Wander Beauty. Um, if for those of you that don't know, Wander Beauty is something that is just always appears in subscription boxes, kind of no matter what it is. BoxyCharm, Ipsy, FabFitFun, obviously. So I was excited to see that I did not get those, but the items that I did get were the Winky Lux Unibrow Universal Eye Pencil, which I don't use a ton of eyebrow pencils, but I was excited to give this one a try. Um, it's got a more triangular tip, which I used it for the first time today, and that was really nice when I was filling in my brows. It made it a lot easier, and it also looks a lot more natural compared to some of the pencils that I've used previously. And then it also is dual-ended as well, so it's got the pencil on one end and the spoolie on the other, which I greatly appreciate. So that way, I don't have to try to figure out where my spoolie is when I'm doing my eyebrows. The next item that I got was the Cali Cosmetics Foot Cream. So I am curious if this is actually going to do anything in particular for my feet rather than 
just be a lotion. So we'll report back on that. And then I also got the Spongel Coconut Verbena Hand Cream. So I've used the Spongel body loofah whatever they call them before and I absolutely love those so I was really excited to get this especially considering I love like just the coconut verbena scent it's just so nice and refreshing especially for summer and it's a little tropical too so I love this hand cream I've used it just a couple of times because there's some other lotions that I'm trying to use up but I love the scent on this one and it feels really nice and moisturizing on my hands as well. So that is everything that I got in my summer 2020 FabFitFun box. As I'm sure you guys could tell throughout the video, I am super excited for most everything I got. So to answer the question, is this box worth it? I definitely think so. Um, I love the towel. I love the cooler. Um, I obviously love the Netflix necklace and the kimono that I got where I've been wearing them a ton. I've been wearing the necklace like practically every day since I got it. And then I'm really excited to try out the couple of skincare products that I got in here as well, as well as the lash serum where this will allegedly make my lashes longer and fuller. So I will definitely let you guys know what I think of these products on my Instagram. So like I said earlier, make sure you guys are following me there if you guys aren't already. As well as please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It means a lot to me and it's a great way to help out the channel for free. So I like I said at the beginning I can't wait to bring the rest of the travel content to you guys that I have planned. I want to go back to more of the travel content that I originally planned. So I know at the, at the beginning of the pandemic, I mentioned that I was going to be doing some more lifestyle related videos, but I want to get back into doing more travel related videos, especially where things are kind of starting to open up more and things are just going to be a little bit weird for a while. So I address this in some of the videos that I will be uploading a little bit later on, but I am starting a new series on my channel called Traveling with the New Normal. So I am really excited to bring that to you guys and just share different things that you guys can go do and still be safe and social distance and everything along those lines. So that way those of us with the travel bug can still get out and enjoy the things around us. So. This video is very long. I've been talking for almost 30 minutes. My camera's about to cut me off. So thank you guys so much for sticking to the end if you did. I appreciate those of you that watch my videos to the end. I know they get really long and rambly. So thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You could be anywhere, but thank you for being here with me. Bye, guys. Lost it. I need to refilm that. Okay. Shit. The makeup drop pirate. Oh my